Okay, here's a double feature for you. The Thing from Another Planet, and it came from beneath the sea. Now, The Thing from Another Planet does deal with aliens, kind of. Both these movies are going to be slower than 1950s horror. That's what you get with that. Um, it's not completely cut and paste, but you know what I mean? A lot of the pacing and stuff is similar in these movies from this time period, especially monster movies, stuff like that. It's, like I said, it's okay for what it is. It's not going to be the best thing in the world, but some people might say it's a little bit like, um, The Thing. You know, the one that came out later that's a lot more popular. And in some ways, yes, I can see why some people might say there's some similarities here and there. But that's really about it. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's alright for what it is and it's good enough time. You know, drink something, smoke something, have a good time with it. Now, it came from beneath the sea. A lot of time they are on a submarine. So if that's not your thing, it does deal with a giant water monster. There you go. The monster's all right. The acting's okay. The story's all right. It's not going to be anything that, you know, rewrites anything or anything like that. It's not going to be anything that really changes the world, but it's still pretty good for what it is. It's not perfect, but there's a double feature for you.